the old man who did no wrong. In the countryside there is a cottage with a thatched roof. There is a stork's nest on the eaves. The wall slopes and there are flowers in the window. They have a pot-bellied stove. In this cottage live an old couple, a peasant and his wife. Even though they are poor, they are not attached to their few possessions. They have a horse. One day the old woman says, Husband, today is market day. You ride the horse, sell it or exchange it for something else. You will never do anything wrong. Or to make the best milk, the peasant thinks, it would be This very much, the peasant thinks in his heart. It can eat the grass beside the ditch. In winter, it can stay with me in the house. Maybe a sheep is better than a cow. Then the peasant trades the sheep for the This hen is the best one which I have seen. It is better than the priest's hen. Oh my! I want this one. A hen can find grain and fend for itself. It will be a good buy if I trade the hen with the goose. May we trade? He says. 
Trade, the man says. Oh, that's not bad. So they trade. The taxman gets the goose, and the peasant owns the hen. He has done a lot of business on the way to the market. It is hot, and he feels tired and wants to eat and drink something. He walks toward a tavern. As he is going in, a seller is coming out. They meet at the gate. What do you have in the sack? The peasant asks. Mashed apples. The seller says. A bag of apples to feed pigs. The peasant says. There are so many. I wish my wife could see this. Last year, our apple tree just produced three apples. We stored them in the cupboard. Until they spilt out. My husband is always correct. They say, We can bet one hundred and eleven pounds. The peasant says, I can just bet a bag of mashed apples. What's more, I may add my wife and myself to the bet. I think that makes it fair. Good, very good, they say. So the bet is made. The master drives out his cart. The two Englishmen and the peasant with mashed apples get on it. After a while, they reach the peasant's house. Good evening, wife. Good evening, husband. I have traded. You know what you have done. Yes, but I traded a sheep for the cow. Ah, that is better, the old woman says. That was considerate of you. We have enough grass to raise the sheep.
I will tell you something. As you know, after you left, I planned to cook for you. I remember that pancakes are your favorite food, but I have no caraway seed. So I borrowed some from the school teacher. I knew they had some. But the teacher's wife is so mean. I asked her to lend some to me. Pardon, besides a mashed apple, we can't lend you because I don't have any apples. Now I can lend her ten mashed apples or a bag of mashed apples. Husband, it is so funny. This is wonderful, the two Englishmen say together. Although he is always meeting misfortune, he is happy. That is good fortune. Then they...